there was a quiet boy whose name was Mason, and who loved reading books and writing stories. Most of the time he was sitting with his nose buried in a book. One day, over lunchtime breaks, at school, all children were playing in a playground. There was a group of children gathered round Henry, the most popular boy in school. As always, Mason is sitting under a tree and reading his book. Suddenly, the sky darkened. There is a witch flying her broom over children's heads. She suddenly throws her net and catches Henry in it. Children stand frozen by fear. Except of Mason, he spots what had happened and he jumps up and catches the end of the witch's broom. What are you thinking? One does not jump into the sea when he can't swim properly. I didn't mean to jump to the sea. I was trying to stop a witch who had taken one of my schoolmates away. I caught her broom and I was holding it firmly when she took us away from our schoolyard. And I couldn't hold myself to her broom from any longer. And I fell down to the sea. Oh, oh really? Now the most important thing is that you're safe with me. Yes, but now I don't know where the witch flies with Henry and what is going to happen to him. Look, there's an ugly duckling. You can ask it. Thank you for saving my life. It's okay. It's my duty to save boys' lives. Just joking. Good luck. Hello. Quack, quack. Hello. Why are you so sad? Quack, quack. Everyone calls me an ugly duck. But you're not an ugly creature. Just wait until you grow up. You're going to be a beautiful swan. Really? How do you know that? I have read the story about you. Thank you. You are the first person who was ever so kind and nice to me. There was a witch who kidnapped one of my school friends. Was she flying on a broom? Quack, quack. I saw her flying over there. Followed her with her. Thank you. Ahoy! Ahoy! Are you not afraid sailing in a paper made only boat? I'm never afraid. Actually, I am. Two boys made a boat from a paper and sent me down gutters yesterday. Suddenly, the boat shot under the bridge and. Wait! Thank you. Where are you going? I am going to save my friend from a terrible witch. I'm going with you to save him. Great, thank you. It is so cold. Look at him. I wouldn't be able to stay as still as he can. I think he is frozen. No, he has moved. It is not possible. A snowman doesn't move. I told you. Are you still alive? I am afraid I will not be alive for long. I think the weather will change. Why are you talking about the weather? Are you an Englishman? No, just because why the temperature raises, the snow starts thawing, and my body is made from snow. To save yourself from the rising temperature, you can fly to Antarctica. Or, hold on, there is a massive fridge in the frozen chicken factory. What a great idea. I think I prefer moving and staying with some penguin in Antarctica. Where are you going? He is looking for a friend. He was kidnapped by a witch. Have you seen her? Yes, look at the snow. She left a track by her long cloak. Look, there is a house. The track is ending there. Knock, knock. Who is there? Mason and the soldier. Why are you coming? I am looking for my friend Henry. He was kidnapped by a witch. And we followed tracks left in the snow that took us here. You are brave. Come inside. This is Hans, Christian Andersen, a famous fairy tale writer. Good evening. So, you came to save your friend? Yes. You have to pass the test. Tell me, who are they? 
It's easy. Snow White, the soldier. Mermaid, snowman. Well done. I have read all your stories. Really? And who is this? He is not from your story, but we can write a story about him. I love to write, and Henry, my friend, is very good at drawing. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be so hasty. Do you want me to help? Why not? Ba, ba, ba.